Hi, I'm James and thanks for tuning in to eBuyer. In this video, I'm going to be putting together a full gaming setup on a budget with parts that you can find over at eBuyer.com. I've picked out some of my favorite budget peripherals, put together a really great 1080p gaming PC build and even got a high refresh rate monitor that doesn't break the bank. And in this video, I'll be walking and talking you through all of those parts and components, assembling our setup, and even gaming on it later to see just how well it really performs in a real world scenario. Let's kick things off and start by looking at the peripheral choices that I've gone for. The headset is actually one that I've been using over at my office for quite a while, the Asus ROG Delta. It's available over at ebar.com alongside all these components, which we'll link below, and has a lovely bit of RGB, USB-C connectivity as well, which is really, really great to see, surround sound, and interchangeable ear cups. It does all the stuff that we need it to do without breaking the bank, and that's really the key behind this setup. It's a similarly positive story when we look at our keyboard. This right here is the Cooler Master CK550 V2. One of the things that makes this keyboard so great is actually its really, really wide feature set and the great value offering that it gives you. Inside the box, you get an included wrist rest, something you just don't find on a lot of keyboards at this price point. And something I also quite like is the fact that it's foam. That makes it to me a bit softer than leather. It doesn't get sweaty. It may fry a little bit around the edges over time, but there's no evidence that we've got to suggest that. It feels soft, it feels squidgy, it feels really quite good. The keyboard is then obviously next up in the box. Now this is a mechanical keyboard with uh, red switches. They're the fastest kind of mechanical switch uh, on the mainstream market at least, which makes it great for high frame rate first person shooters where reaction time is absolutely king. With a standard full size layout on top of the keyboard, so letters and numbers over here, arrows in the middle and numbers to the side, Full RGB, which you can control directly on the keyboard without the need for any software. And as I mentioned earlier, those lovely red switches, which sound amazing. It's gonna be a really, really great choice. You can see as well how our wrist rest can really help uh, prolonged gaming sessions as well. It just makes things that bit more comfortable. And I like that this is universal. If you had another setup and you were moving over or using a different keyboard for typing or for work, you could still use the wrist rest. So really, really like to see this from Cooler Master. In terms of the mouse then, I'll be pairing up with the keyboard. This is Razer's Death Adder Essential. It comes as part of their Razer Power Up V2 bundle, which we recently featured here on the eBuy channel, and we'll also link below, and would be a great option for this setup too. It's got a really, really nice 6,400 DPI optical sensor with these great switches and six programmable buttons. It feels great to the hand, especially for me, someone who prefers more of a hybrid between a palm and a claw grip and all in all will just work so, so well for the setup today. Before we connect all these peripherals up, we just need to unbox our headset as well. Asus ROG kill it with their unboxing experience, and you get the headset presented so nicely front and center uh, with a little message that says, welcome to the elite Republic of Gamers community. The headset then is front and center with its lovely USB-C cable that also just so happens to be braided, something I absolutely love to see. You've got controls here to turn on or off the built-in RGB of the headset, as well as inline volume controls. That's amazing uh, to have on a headset. Allows you to just control things on the fly without needing to mess around with Windows hotkeys. Uh, inside your accessories box then, you also get a USB-A to C adapter. So don't panic if you haven't got a PC with USB-C. This one does on the rear and on the front panel. You can adapt uh, to USB-C. Or alternatively, if you're already using them, you haven't got to use up another valuable USB-C port. Inside the box as well, you also get these nice interchangeable foam ear cups. So if leather's not really your thing, you can swap these out. To be honest, it's just gonna be a case of swapping them over every couple of days, seeing which ones you prefer, and then sticking with those for the foreseeable. With this being a gaming headset as well, it's not just a pair of headphones. You do get an included boom microphone. This is what you can use for communicating with friends, staying in touch with people, and the headset is Discord certified, meaning you know you're going to be pretty good in this regard. Otherwise, it's literally just documentation, uh, nothing particularly interesting for us, but the removable ear cups for me, uh, something I keep going back to, they're a major, major bonus. You just pop the one off, pop the new one on, and you're good to go. Before we move on to the monitor though, and I promise we will get there, I think it's worth me actually running you guys through the PC and the components that we've gone for. Now, shameless plug time, we have done a dedicated build video here on the eBuy channel, so you go ahead and check out that video if you'd like a bit more of a detailed rundown but I'll give you the brief overview. With a Ryzen 5 5600X front and center, called by Cooler Masters Hyper 212 Black Edition, you know your CPU is going to stay nice and cool. 
A Radeon RX 6600 XT from Asus uh, completes our CPU and GPU combo, provided exemplary 1080p performance figures and even scope for 1440p gaming, even if AMD would prefer you game at 1080p on this GPU. 16 gigabytes of Patriot's Viper memory gives us plenty of RAM to work with, while a WD Black SN850 gives us some fast NVMe SSD storage. Housed inside of Corsair's IQ4000X RGB, you know that the system is going to look absolutely phenomenal and we'll test that out very shortly. Otherwise though, that sort of rounds out our components, an Asus B450M motherboard, a Corsair 650 watt power supply, and a range of parts that to me seem really well balanced. Links to all these things can be found though down in the description of this video. Now for the part of the setup you've all been waiting for though, it is time for the monitor. Now for a setup like this, I think it would be a shame to go 1080p 60 hertz. As for games like Valorant or the new Call of Duty Vanguard, it's just not going to cut it. But equally, 1080p is the sweet spot for a setup like this one. So we don't want to go for a 1440p high refresh monitor instead, that's going to cost us a load more money. That sort of defeats the point. We need a 1080p high refresh rate budget oriented monitor. And I think that I have found just the one from a company called Neutron Lab. Now these monitors are available exclusively at eBuyer and this particular panel uh, is 1080p with a 165 hertz refresh rate. It's nice and small, nice and compact, really, really thin bezels as well. Very, very thin, some good connectivity with DisplayPort and HDMI and that high refresh rate. Maybe not the most color accurate panel in the world for a colorist or a color grader, but for a standard gamer, this is going to work really well and completes our sort of peripherals I was going to say trio, but there's, there's four of them, so I'm a bit lost for words on that count. Uh, our peripheral setup uh, to go ahead and match up with our PC. We need to cable manage all of these components together though, and then we'll see you in a second once the setup is booted up and ready to go. As well as testing out a couple of gaming benchmarks, we also thought it was important to test out the microphone built in to this gaming headset. That's a really important thing about a headset is that you can communicate clearly with friends, or if you wanted to get into a bit of Twitch streaming, then it's capable of doing that too. So let's hit record right about now, and you can see here the waveform of the microphone. In post, we'll switch between the audio we get of our lavalier microphone, a professional broadcast quality mic, and the mic on the headset. And actually, from my tests already, I think this sounds really very clear. Given the value proposition this headset is, I was expecting the mic uh, to be a lot, lot worse. In fact, it sounds pretty clear and would be very passable for streaming alongside conference calls, video calls, and communicating with friends over Skype or Discord. The first title we're going to test out is a bit of Splitgate. This is running at 1080p uh, epic settings as well, so really, really pushing the system to its max. There we got a shot on, lovely stuff. And that was two for one, I think, at that point in time. Visually, the game looks absolutely awesome as well, which is something that we really, really like to see. Colors are strong as well on this full gaming setup. Visually, the game feels really, really nice to play. No lag, no stuttering, no screen tearing or anything like that, as you'd come to expect from a system and a setup with this much power. AMD really have killed it with their 6600 XT and created a budget GPU in a package that provides incredible performance. Yes, there's another one. Oh, one more for one more. Any more for any more? Any more for any more? Any more for any more? Oh, we nearly got the shot on. This game is so fun. And the frame rate we're getting as well in the region of 360 frames per second is frankly nothing short of in. Incredible. The score on the doors are 28, 29, 29 all. This is so incredibly tight. This is all going to come down to precision and kills like those two that I've just managed to clutch. Double kill. Incredible. I hear bullets. No, victory! <laughs> come on! Incredible. This, is, this just needs a moment of reflection. The 6600 XT has powered us through one of the most incredible gaming sessions of my life. That was unreal. Oh, oh, this is just otherworldly right now. Anyway, uh, I think we can see there from those performance figures that Splitgate worked incredibly well. That surround sound headset got me so in the zone. There were some fantastic results with 21 kills. I did die 11 times, but anyway, 
and a lifetime average record for damage dealt. And on that note, that pretty much wraps it up for our full setup. If you'd like to check out any of the parts featured in this build, any of our peripherals, or of course this Neutron Lab high refresh rate monitor, check out the links in the description below. Thank you for tuning in to eBuy though, and as always, we'll see you soon.